Auburn defensive lineman Marlon Davidson will be one of the more intriguing evaluations in the 2020 draft. The reason being, he played on the edge last year at Auburn. 406 of his 596 snaps came outside the tackles for the Tigers defense, but at 280 pounds last year for Auburn, he's already bulked up to 303 pounds, basically saying he wants to play on the inside. Even off the edge, he was a pretty productive pass rusher last year with an 83.8 pass rushing grade. So we'll see how the NFL views him, but let's get in to the pros and the cons. Starting with the pros is that versatility. He won as a pass rusher, whether it was from the outside, off the edge against offensive tackles, from the inside against guards in obvious pass rushing situations for Auburn last year. He has that versatility that I think can still play at the next level. He has good bend for a man his size. You saw him employ a nice rip move to even beat offensive tackles around the edge. He's a guy who's going to be in the pocket and getting back to the quarterback, converting those pressures to sacks, which he did eight times last season. He's also fairly agile for a man that big. We saw it at the Senior Bowl, had some nice reps where he got to cross the face of the offensive lineman in his day and a half of practices there before he got hurt. Now let's move to the cons where there are some worries about him and his game translating to the inside. The biggest one is, how is he going to fare in the run game? He's put on all this weight to go and play at the three technique position, most likely, but we have no clue how he's going to hold up against double teams in the NFL. Didn't do that a lot in college, obviously, when he was inside. It was mostly in obvious pass rushing situations. So that's going to be an issue. Also, as a pass rusher, there are concerns. He was not a guy who had more than one pass rushing move at a time, not a guy to combo pass rushing moves. He did his move, and if it didn't work, usually he was done. You worry about those guys, uh, you know, being able to consistently get to the quarterback, those one move guys at the next level. His player comp is a guy who went in a similar range to where Davidson probably goes in the upcoming draft, and it's Breland Speaks. A couple of years ago, in 2018, coming out of Ole Miss, he was a second-round pick right in the middle of the second round for the Kansas City Chiefs with a similar body type, 6'3", 280 pounds coming out at the Combine, but he never bulked up. He never got to the size to play defensive tackle, so he was stuck out on the edge at Kansas City in the NFL and hasn't been able to consistently win the edge. That was the concerns with Davidson if he were to stick on the edge is can he get and challenge offense tackles with his speed? It's not really going to be an issue anymore inside when you're at the weight he got to and he maintained good athleticism, Marlon Davidson, at the weight going on in the interior. So probably a little more favorable projection, Davidson kicking into the inside than Speaks does have on the outside. So the bottom line for Marlon Davidson is he got hurt at the Senior Bowl before he you know, got to really put on a show, but the day and a half there that he played mainly three technique in the one-on-one drills was fantastic. He looked like his game translated very well inside. The athleticism was still there. His 5.04 second 40 at the combine, a very good time for a 300 plus pounder. I think Marlon Davidson has some of the best hands of any defensive tackle in this draft class and can be a complete defensive tackle at the NFL level. You want to get rid of me and get back to more great PFF YouTube content? All you have to do is push that button right there and subscribe. Thanks for watching.